Turn your computer into an all-in-one creative studio with ScreenFlow. You can record your screen, create and edit video, import media, and upload directly to the internet. Let's see how easy it is to get started with ScreenFlow. Follow along as we complete a recording, do a few quick edits, then export and publish directly to YouTube. When first launched, ScreenFlow's Configure Recording window will automatically appear. You can also access this window from the ScreenFlow Helper icon in the top right-hand corner of the menu bar. ScreenFlow can simultaneously capture content from up to five sources. You can record your desktop video from your screen or from an external monitor, and video from a connected camera. Audio from an available microphone and your computer speakers, and now with ScreenFlow 5, audio and video from a connected iOS 8 device. Once you have configured your recording, hit the red button to start. When you are done recording, go to the helper icon and select Stop Record, or use the keyboard shortcut Command Shift 2. The ScreenFlow editing window will then open automatically with your new video and audio recordings on the timeline. Once you have finished a recording, or brought in additional media through the media library, now it is time to tap into ScreenFlow's powerful editor. Let's go over the main areas of the ScreenFlow editing window. The large central area is the canvas. This shows you a preview of all the visual elements of your project. The wide area at the bottom is the timeline. This is a visual representation of the temporal length of your project. The timeline is divided into layers to manage clips overlapping at the same time. While there is no correct way to set up your layers, it is important to keep in mind that each layer will overlay the layers below it, which will come in handy when you want to add additional media to your project. On the upper right side of the editing window are the Properties tabs. These are the main editing controls of ScreenFlow, allowing you to configure each clip of your project. There is also a media library that stores all recorded and imported media in an unaltered state. Let's go through a couple of simple edits. At the end of this clip, my mouse cursor goes to the ScreenFlow Helper icon to stop the recording. We don't need our viewers to see the behind the scenes action, so let's remove that. Zoom in using the Timeline Magnification slider in the bottom left corner to get a more precise view of your recording. Place the scrubber where you want to make a cut. Open the Edit tab in the ScreenFlow menu and choose Split, or press the T key. Now we can select the end of the clip we want to delete and hit Delete on our keyboard. Now let's add a logo for the end of our video and make it fade in and slowly move across the screen. Select your image file and drag it into the ScreenFlow timeline. Notice that it automatically appears in your media library as well. Let's fade in the logo by adding a transition from the previous clip. Click and drag the logo clip so it overlaps the previous clip. You will see the transition area appear where the two clips overlap. To edit the type of transition, double click the transition area. This will bring up the Transition Inspector, where you can choose from different types of transitions. With ScreenFlow 5, you will notice we've greatly expanded the transition options. For this though, we'll choose the Cross Dissolve transition. Let's see how it looks. The next step is to add a video action to the logo to shrink it in size and have it move to the bottom corner of our screen. First, select the logo clip on the timeline. Go to the Video Properties tab and select Add Video Action. A yellow video action box will appear on the selected clip. To create the movement, place the scrubber at the beginning of the video action box. This is how the image will be seen before the action starts. Now place the scrubber at the end of the video action box. This is how the image will be seen after the video action occurs. Adjust the logo to the size and placement you want and ScreenFlow will automatically animate the movement for you. To resize the logo, hold the Shift key to maintain aspect ratio and drag the corner of the logo, or adjust the scale in the Video Properties tab. Now move it to the lower right corner. Let's take a look at the video action we have just created. This is just a sample of the many powerful editing features of ScreenFlow. Once we have finished recording and editing our video, it's time to export. Under File Export, you'll find many options for customizing your final project. The Web High preset is a good starting point for getting your video ready for export. 
This will work for most videos that will be seen on the web, but it's possible to customize the presets by clicking the Customize button. In this case, I'm going to set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 and boost the data rate to 8000. For more information on export settings, check out our ScreenFlow knowledge base. You can also publish directly to popular video hosting sites within ScreenFlow. Under File Publish To, select your preferred destination. I'm using YouTube. Enter your credentials and send it to YouTube. And that's how easy it is to get started with ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow. Make epic content.